Should we go on discussing, talking over together the question of fear? Do we? We were talking about relationship, and perhaps most of us are frightened to face that reality of relationship. And so from that arose the question of fear, so that we can face our relationship when there is no fear. That's the question, that's the point we're going to talk over together. Is it really possible to be completely be free of fear, both physiological as well as psychological? One may be afraid of death, of so many things, neurotically and perhaps healthily, sanely, like fear when, when you face something dangerous physically, to meet it healthily, which is normal, not neurotically with fear. So there is both physical fear and psychological fear. Perhaps they are interrelated. One giving emphasis to the other, and so on. Can we go into all this? Hmm? Why do you want to go into it? If I may ask. Is it? Why does one, I mean, if one is afraid, do you, does one want to go really deeply inside the whole business of it and be free from it? Does one demand that? Or we don't know how to deal with fears and so we run away from it, avoid it and explain it away? Is that it? We never really want to go into it and completely dissolve it. Is that what is the problem? I think that when one realizes that fear is one of the most inhibiting factors in life, <coughs> one is bound to go into it. Isn't it so? If one must first realize how inhibiting it is. No, sir, but what I'm asking is, do we really want to go into it? Do we really say this is a terrible burden, a, a devastating factor in life? It brings darkness, it, you know, all the nervous responses to fear and psychological shrinking, withdrawing, resisting, fighting back, all that which is a form of violence. Do we really? want to go into it, and so that our minds are completely free from it. That's the first question I would like to suggest to ask. I think the answer is no. I think we prefer to go from solution to solution. We want? We'd rather go from the solution to the solution of the fear rather than to go into the fear. That's it. We want rather a solution of it. <laughs> How to... Re the the ending of it, rather than finding out the whole movement of it, the whole content of it, the nature of it. Is that what we are trying to do? Right here. Yes. Right here we're looking for the solution, too. Yes. Right here 
We're looking for the solution. Of course, of course. You, are you looking for a solution for fear or investigating, exploring, finding out the whole nature of it? And so when one really has an insight into it, it's gone. You know, I, I, I'm not a brain specialist, perhaps Professor Wilkins and Mr. Dr. Baum can help us. I think it affects the brain, the brain cells, fear. I watch many, many people in fear. Their, their minds, their brain is not active, is not agile, fresh, young. It's, it's a kind of a disease that eats into one's mind, and one's heart, into one's whole being. And if we don't understand the disease, but are only concerned with the curing of it, then we'll never. We are just playing with each other. So I want. That's why I ask, if I may, most, of course, most respectfully, always. Do we really want to go into it? Are we deeply concerned with the resolution of it? Not how to be free of it, but take step by step into it and discover the whole nature of it and understand it, have an insight into it, and then the thing dissolves. Are we really aware that fear does play such a large part in our lives? I'm asking, sir, how destructive it is. Because from fear arises violence, all kinds of neurotic behaviour. I mean, I'm just pleased. Enter the game, I throw the ball and you don't even play it, return it to me. It is always in your court. You understand what I am saying? Doesn't it have something to do with the immediate response to fear? This, uh, the, the immediacy of response? That yes, sir. Uh, yes, but I want first to be clear that you and I and the rest of us really want to find out the whole movement of the beginning, the ending, the, the in-between, the nature of it, the content of it, the destructive nature of it, the, the real disease of it. It's much greater disease, more it's fearful disease rather than cancer. Cancer may be partly the result of fear. Well, I, I don't want to go into it. It's it's very ugly. It's very no. I, it's very. Oh, you see, you say it's ugly. It's. I don't know if it is ugly. I'm just frightened. Well, fear is ugly. We, and, no, you none say. None of us like fear. You none say so. You say so. You've given a name to it, an adjective, calling it ugly, and. Uh, well, well, we we want to get rid of fear. Because we don't like fear. Therefore, no, you. No, I question that. We don't want to get rid of fear. Well, That's what well, I'm yes, questioning. We want a solution to fear. Solution? That's different. We we want we want it to be we want to be free of fear. We want to be able to manage fear. Manage Control fear. fear. To free of fear. Control it. No, not well, okay, of it. then then not get rid of it, but free of it. Control it. Be able to handle. <coughs> Control it. That's not getting. What? That's not dealing with it. No, that just it. That's just part of the solution. But but we don't want to hand deal with it. We don't want to deal with that's it. That's right. We just so want to control it. That's right. Sir. Let's be clear. Do we want to control it? We don't want to put our teeth into it, but waiting for somebody to help us to be free of fear. A psychologist, some incident, some. Uh, 
external God and so on, so on, so on. So, and remain in the meantime in the in fear. Which is it we want? Please, let's be clear on this point. I think um, often the fear of something is worse than that thing itself. And so that if one could find out what fear actually is, then... We're doing that. Do, do we want to go into the whole problem the nature and the structure of fear, the, which is structure in the sense, not a building, but the movement of it. Structure means movement. The movement of fear, understand it, go in very, very deeply into it and resolve it completely. Or we are waiting because it's, we want to control it, we want to escape from it, and so on, so on, so on. Well, I think that's where we have to apart from our likes and, and, and... No, just stay, no, don't like and dislike, don't, don't, don't bring that in. Or want, or want and, and not want. No, I don't want to, that's well, another well, problem. You, you're asking if, if we want to go into it. Want in the sense of, is that our intent? Is that our... Well, then, then there is no uh, question of like. Is that our resolu is that our resolve? It doesn't matter what word you use, is it our intent to go into this very deeply and resolve it in the under by understanding it, looking at it, go and so on, or we just want to control it, suppress it, and not discover what it is, or wait for somebody to help us to be out of it? <laughs> this is a please, this is a very serious question. I'll give your thought. We say that we say that if we want to, we look at fear in order to get rid of it. Then that's a bad reason for looking at it, and we won't we no. won't discover anything. No, Scott. Is it our intent? Well, what, what, what would be what would be a correct intention? You know, what, if, what would be a, a correct reason, uh, and therefore a, a correct approach to looking at at fear? Because there's obviously some bad ones. Excuse me, sir. I was just going to say, what is the fact? Start with the fact of, of fear. If you have the intention of going into it, or do you just want to resolve it, find out what the fact is in you, and start from there? If it, if you haven't got, if you can discover that, whether you want to resolve it, then you can start from that fact, and then move on from there. You have to find out in yourself what the fact is about fear, how you feel towards it, whether you want to resolve it, if you, or go into it. That's where you start. I'm not explaining it well. But is this clear to each one of us? But you need space to look at it. And the space could be caused by an escape. No, Miss McCann, I'm asking a simple question. For God's sake, is it simple? Do we want somebody to resolve it for us? That or, which I haven't finished yet, please. Forgive me. Somebody to say, well, do this and you'll be free of it. Or do we want to go together into this whole nature of fear? Not suppressing it, not avoiding it, looking at the whole movement of our fears, avoidance, escapes, and trying to find a solution for it and so on. Which is it you want? Suggesting that most people haven't got the serious intention of going the whole way into it. That's right, sir. That's all I'm trying to well, find out. I, I think most of us do have the intent to go into it, but we're afraid of afraid of, the, of what we're going to see. Yes. So still fear. It is still fear. What, sir? I can't hear you. There seems to be implied that we cannot have a serious intention to investigate fear. And That's right, sir. At the core, That's we are right. already free of fear. Have we, let me put as Dr. Bohm points out, mm -hmm. have we the serious intent to go into it? That's all I'm asking. No, no. Uh, 
things. I can't, I don't understand why you're making it so complicated. I'm afraid. I know I want to find somebody to help me to be rid of it. Or I'm waiting for God to help me to get rid of it, to be free of it. That's one thing. Either control it, suppress it, run away from it. Or do I want to go into the whole nature of it. Do you understand, sir? I want to learn, put it the other way, I want to learn all about fear. Can't I do that? To be afraid without resistance, you mean? Just to be afraid? No, sir. Stay in. See how difficult it is to come to some <laughs> common factor. One can have the conscious intention of investigating fear, but then you've added a further thing. You said, in order to be free of it, we don't know at this moment what will happen. But you do know you're frightened, aren't we? Or is yes, that... I know that. And I know I, I want to invest, investigate it. That's all. That's all we are asking. Do you want to investigate it, or do you want... Uh, uh, Somebody to say, do this and you'll be free of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want to investigate it. We want I want to investigate it. Now, let's be sure, all of us, what we want to do about this. Mm -hmm. Don't waste time, yeah. please. Well, we, don't, we don't want to analyze it. I give up. <laughs> you know, this, we do just want intelligence. We want to find out the whole structure, nature, mechanism of fear. You want to understand it. So, which is it, all of us, which is it that you want to do? I, I want to do the same. I, I want to understand <laughs> the whole mecha mechanics of it, but I'm afraid of what will come or that, what will go if I do understand it. Yes, which means you're still frightened of what might happen. Yes. So, that's also part of fear. Yes. So we are investigating fear. Yes. Yeah. That's all. Please, sir, do it. Look, we are talking about one simple thing for twenty minutes, and we haven't come to the point yet. Well, I want to open it up. Huh? I want to open up the whole subject. That's all I can say. That's all. We should do all. All of us want to do this. Avanti. Well, there we go. Huh? There we go. Huh? Well, there we go, I say. We all want it, so. So, we... Are we conscious, aware, of our fears and what we do with our fears? Are you to No, I think I think it's so deep hidden. No, no, keep to what we are saying to be, which is are you aware, no, recognize that you are frightened and what you do with that fear? Are you aware of this? Okay. Well, I can 
recall my past fear. No, but no. I think at the moment it, that will it, it, doesn't, it doesn't come up, you know. I'm asking is, are we, each one of us, recognize our fear, know that we are frightened of something or other, and what we actually do with that fear. Do we run away from it, suppress it, control it, or accept it as part of life and drag on with it for the rest of your life? Are we aware of this? That's what I'm asking. Yes. So, um, are we aware of it? Yes. Yeah. Right. So you know what you do with your fear. Hmm? Why? Why do you do that? Drag on, as Professor Whitney points out. How we drag on with it? We go on with it. Why? We are investing, opening up the the whole box. I, I haven't Pandora been, box. I haven't been able to find an answer to a particular fear, a real. No, not an answer. But this is what I've been doing. You said, are you aware of what you do? Yes, and that's what, what I do. What you try do? Try to find an answer. Yeah. And it hasn't really deeply dealt with the whole matter in the past. No. So it's I, dragged on. I'm asking, sir, if you are aware that you have a certain fear and how you deal with that fear, whether you control it, suppress it, run away from it, or wait for somebody to resolve it, and so on. Are you aware of your fear and your reactions to that? That's all I'm asking. Now, then you ask another question, why do we do that? What? Then you asked another question, yes. why do we do that? Yes, why do we do that? That's all I'm asking. Sushuji, I think part of it is because we, we maintain a facade of ourselves that we present to others. And we want to main, continue to maintain this. And as long as and if we begin to face the question of fear, we will have to deal with this facade. No, I'm not facade, that's what, Yes, all right. I'm just asking Shankar, if you don't mind, apart from the facade, why do we do this, that is, aware of our fear, control it, suppress it, avoid it, run away from it, or wait for some incident to resolve it? Why do we wait? Why do we go through this process? You understand my question? Yes. Couldn't it be because we don't know anything else? Yes. What? Couldn't it be through ignorance because we don't know how to deal yes. otherwise? No. We know what we do, don't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then let's ask the question, why do you do it? For another Perhaps huh? ignorance, through ignorance, because we don't know any other way. You don't know any other way? No. Is no. that it? No. No. Also, the entity which is afraid remains the same. No, no, no. don't complicate, sir. Just go step by. Hmm? I'm afraid. Suppose I'm afraid. I know I have controlled it. I know I have suppressed it. I know, you know, all the rest of it. And I ask myself, why am I doing this? That's all I'm asking. Somehow that fear seems to threaten something inside yeah. you. What? The fear that you have inside you seems to be a threat to something, which is why you. A threat. A threat. Yeah. Yes. So, all right. So, I ask myself, what? Why do I do this? And you say it's a threat. Threat to what? Threat to my house. Threat to my relationship. Threat to my way of living. The image. Well, please just go into step by step. My whole structure. Huh? To my whole structure. Which means threat to my whole way of living. Is that it? Yes. No, deeper, I think. It's a threat to my effort to solve it. In other words, if I can't go on doing this, going from solution to solution, 
that whole action will be threatened. So, would you say it simply, sir? Well, you said, why do I do it? Uh, no, I, I said, why do I live in this way, being threatened, Fear, because I might, that fear may tr bring certain catastrophes. I also I said, why am I doing this? Who is, you follow yourself? Why do I go through the cycle? Because if I, I'm, if the whole thing will be threatened. In other words, keeping doing. If I stop doing this, I don't want to give that up. That structure will be threatened. The solution. How do I know? Well, I, that's my point. So you're not getting my point. How do I know that my whole structure, which I've built up, will be destroyed? Or am I projecting an idea that it might be destroyed, and therefore frightened of that? You get what I'm Now, which is it we are doing? Go, please, that's why I won't go step by step into it. All right, let me, let me do it for myself, talk about it. First, I am unaware that I am doing this. Then I become aware. I am aware that I am frightened. I am aware, no, that I control it, suppress it, avoid it. And I, that's been I drag on this way for the rest of my life. And I am saying now, why do I do this? Why do I live this way? And I find I'm, there is a threat involved in it, the threat of something that might happen. So what might happen is creating the more fear, adding more to the already accumulated fear. I live this way, right? And I say to myself, why? Why am I doing this? What am I being threatened about? You follow? I, we are investigating. Don't accept what I'm We are investigating. <coughs> Threat to my relationship with my wife, with my girl, boy, whatever it is. Threat to my existence, yeah. the way of my life. Yeah. That you won't exist anymore. Huh? That you won't exist. <coughs> that you won't exist. I don't know. You see, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know it. You've already projected what might happen, but I don't know. You see the difference. By projecting it. Say, what might happen? It might destroy my house, my relationship, I might lose my job. It might, all that adds more fear. But it may not be like that at all. You follow? Threat implies that you have a certain standard of life, and if you investigate into fear, that standard of life may be broken up. Therefore you say, my God, I'm, I won't go into this problem at all. You have come, you have made a picture of what might happen, and so you carry on as usual. Right? You understand? So I'm asking, if you do not project what, of what, the idea of what might happen, but say, let's investigate fear, not the future fear. Is that? Yeah. Am I me? Yeah. The surgeon tells me I must be operated, and I'm frightened because mm -hmm. I might not survive. And so, the fear of not surviving. Adds to my already a great, the greater fear of the operation. But if I have no fear of what might happen, I can face 
the operation, though I'm afraid. I can face it. But now I've introduced a double kind of fear, the future, what might happen, and the actual fear of, of being operated. So I say, please, look, we are investigating. So I won't, I see the silliness of it, the foolishness of it. So I say, all right, I won't project. I don't know, something may happen, which is quite different. So I won't project, right? Is this clear? Can we go on from there? So I ask now, why am I doing this? That is, not the future, what might happen, but why am I carrying on this way, controlling it, suppressing it, avoiding it, waiting for somebody to resolve it, and so on? Why, why, why do I do this? I'm holding on to something. You are holding on to something. What? The idea that what, what are you holding on to actually? Mm -hmm. Do look at it. So you say you are holding on. What are you holding on? Your relationship? Your money? Your way of life? Your a profession, your career, your whatever, you know, doesn't it? What, are you holding on to them? To all that. Yes. Huh? To all that. Yes. To all that. What is that? To all that. To your life? All my structure. Uh, the, way of, the way you are living, let's put it that way simply. The way of your life you are holding on. And you say, in that way of life, fear is involved. So you are holding on to fear, right? But is there something? Uh, there's something about that, Christian G, that I think that, that it's more than just holding on to the structure. It's as if you're holding on to the fact that you don't have the capacity to deal with fear. Wait, wait. That's the whole point. I'm com I was coming to that. You see, is it? that we, are, we think we have not the capacity to deal with the fact that I'm afraid. Because I've been discouraged – listen carefully – I've been discouraged that I cannot do it by myself. I've been discouraged by the religions. Jesus will save you. Save you. Outside agency will save you. Go to a, an analyst, professor, this, that – they will resolve. So you, society, education has helped me to have no capacity to deal with it. Right? Would you agree to this? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. One can also feel that one has the capacity. I don't, I don't know, but I reject all that. I reject uh, somebody is going to solve my fear. Jesus, or uh, the priest, or the pope, or the archbishop, or the analyst. No, but I can see how foolish it is. But well, I might think I can do it myself. I, no, I don't say that myself. I reject that. Therefore, I don't say I will solve it, which is another vanity. I wonder if you see yes, this. That's what it says. Right, so may we go on from there? Do all together, are we? Mm -hmm. So, what, am I le what have I left now? I think I have not capacity, because I have been educated to think I am not, I haven't got it. But now I am free from that educated conditioning. Right? Are you? Are you? Are you? Huh? Or am I? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I wouldn't talk otherwise. I wouldn't be a hypocrite. Now, remember, sir, we said at the beginning of this discussion that to be a light to oneself, this is part of it. I don't want to go into it now. Have we 
are we free of this educated conditioning which makes us incapable? The intellectuals have made us incapable, right? The intellectual priest, the intellectual structure of religions, you follow? The whole intellectual world of knowledge, all that, say, you can't do it all, boy, we will do it for you. Seems this educated conditioning has its life of its own. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course it has. But don't go off into that, Sunki, forgive me for bringing you back. I, are you aware that you have this educated conditioning which makes you, which, which, which destroys your incapacity and therefore put it aside, have you? Which means you are no longer dependent. That's all I'm trying to get at. But if one were free of this intellectual conditioning, surely that in itself would not be enough. No, because no, I'm just beginning. That's part of it. Of course, art so. So, no. Dr. Schoenberg raised the question that we are, most of us have not the capacity to deal with. No, I didn't say we didn't have it, I said we feel like it. Uh, all right, sorry, sorry. We feel that we have not the capacity, which is different, quite right. So uh, we are investigating why we have not, we don't feel capable. And we don't feel capable because of this. So are we free from that? Because we, we can't investigate further if you're not free of that. It's rather funny, isn't it? <laughs> you see, this is different from analysis. I must make quite clear, because we are. There is no. You are just observing this whole movement. There is no analyzer and the analyzed. I don't want to enter into that for the moment. So we are just observing. We have been educated by all the. Uh, priests, intellectual theologians, philosophers and so on, that we, do, we don't feel at the end of it that incapable. If you reject all that, what has happened? <laughs> Go into it, sir. watch yourself. If you reject it, the intellectual education quotes, what has happened? First, why have you educated and why have you rejected it? Under my pressure? Because of logic? See the sequence of it? Or you yourself see that you cannot possibly understand fear if you have not the capacity. And that capacity has been taken away from you, or yeah, taken away from you by others. Now, if you realize that, what have, what have you come to? Please go into it. To the inside of this. Huh? The inside of this. Which means what? It means you're not no longer depending no, on no, someone do, else. Do listen, go into it for you. We're exploring, please. You're free to learn. You're free to learn. You're free. What, sir? You're free. You're free of what? Of this condition. Which means what? Free. How did you get that freedom? Let's say, all right. How did you have that feeling of being free? Huh? By, doubt, by doubt, by questioning, which means I what? Well, at the end, when you have, you have rejected through doubt, questioning, seeing what its value and so on, which is, you have intelligence, haven't you now? 
Right? No? Come on, sir. Your own intelligence. Not your own. You have been intelligent. Which is capacity. I wonder if you see this. We have a lot to go. Come on, sir. Long way to go yet. There's a quality there that you that happens. You, be, I, you use the word happen. I think that's exactly it. That you become a happening. Yes, there's a there is a movement a happening, which is intelligence. Not that intelligence yours or mine. It's intelligence. Which is not a function of the brain. What? Which is not a function of the brain. You have used. The brain to see the brain sees what is, what people have done to it, right? The intellectuals, the priests, the authoritarians, the philosophers, the uh, the Freudians, <laughs> Freud, and all the rest of it. They have made you dull. And if you, read, if you say, oh, I see the whole thing, what they have done, and the very seeing is the movement of intelligence. It's not your seeing or my seeing, the fact that is so. I wonder if you... So what they've actually done, the religions, huh? when you say they've made you die, I see that. They made you dull, you said. What? Did you say die or dull? I didn't know what I said. <laughs> but I see that they stopped you, the religion. I see that I feel that they stopped me from inquiring. So I don't know if you know. In India, you can be a religious person without believing, without any, having any God. You understand, sir? And therefore they have questioned the whole idea, they are doubting, question. In Christianity you mustn't question up, up to a certain you can question up to a certain point. After that it is mysterious. Mystery. So you never are encouraged to question, ask, demand, find out. Right? That's all we see. Now, are we in this together now? Have we so far? No. Have you that intelligence? If you haven't, you, you can't inquire. I'm that is an inundating thing when you have I, the, the power of that perception when you're No, I we said I we said at the beginning, <coughs> are you aware that you are afraid? Are you do you know what your actions to that to that is controlled, suppressed, run away, resolve We went through all that. So if you say mustn't you have a grip on that first I said, look, you're asking a question that's been dealt with. Well, I'm trying to uh, suggest that the experience of fear is so um, tremendous. And we are how that intelligence at that moment is... No, is not at that moment. No, but in, an ex in examining, when you are fearful and you examine it, you no. come to that perception I'm of extremely difficult. Mary, I'm in this... We are... We're not dealing with that. Look, <laughs> I've reached a point in this discussion for, my, for each one of us. We've reached a point where our capacities, which have been made dull by rejecting those, those factors which make us 
incapable. The, the very rejection of it is the awakening of this intelligence. Then that's one thing. Wait, wait, wait. I'm finished with fear. That's one thing. So I'm saying, next step is. I don't know if you. I'm talking all the time. Will you please come on? All right, Shinsen. Mr. What? I, I, I think that you're question whether one has totally rejected all that. Ah, that's up to you. Therefore, I, you have, haven't you? Then can we know if we have? Find out, sir. Take to, sit for two minutes. You can a minute. You can know mm-hmm. if you put your mind to it. If you are sloppy, you won't know. I still have the feeling that it will be a verbal game. Ah, it's not a verbal game with me. You can have the verbal game, I'm but I won't. So I said, and from the beginning, are we serious to enough? Intent, having strong intent to go into this whole movement of fear. If you have the intent and the seriousness of it, you cannot be ver- remain verbally. So, um, seems to, at, at this point, the fear is still there. Now, fear hasn't been dealt with. All this, all you've done is put aside incapacity, and the intelligence has been awakened. Once that's awakened, then it can start dealing with fear. The fear is still there. Of course. So I'm going to deal with. We are going to go into it. So don't. But can I raise another point? Yes, sir. Having got these, um, get clear the state, so to speak. <laughs> clear the decks. Uh, got the uh, uh, intelligence. I mean, don't, to do that, didn't one need? Some kind of motivation, driving force, some sort of passion, and doesn't one then need that to continue the process? I mean, or are you including that in the I, intelligence? I think that that that's inc- this passion, the drive, is in, inherent in this intelligence. It has its own momentum. Uh, huh? It has its own momentum. And it has. Yes, sir. Put it. No. Let's use the same words, otherwise you will, you will give a different meaning to momentum and so on. I may too. So, as Professor Wilkins points out, doesn't want need passion, interest, a drive to have this, in, to bring about this intelligence. Or to awaken this intelligence. I said, by observing, by looking into this whole movement of fear, from as you just began, said, that intelligence has in it this passion, this intent, the drive. I won't sit still anymore. If I have fear, I'll go with that intelligence, with that energy, with that drive, I'll go, I'm going to into it. Can I return to your point about the man having the operation? Yes, sir. Then surely he decides to have the operation and run the risks of what might happen afterwards if he's sufficiently dissatisfied with his half life before the Quite operation. right, sir. That's what. Is this the you're quite right, sir. Are we dissatisfied enough, as, as he points out, with our ordinary, mediocre, dull life? Part of which is fear. So, am I aflame to resolve this thing, which immediately makes me non mediocre? Not that it gives me vanity, I'm, not, I'm out of that group. Uh, yes, I think there's a, there's a real fear of getting out of the groove, 
because it puts you into a whole new space. Where that, that's what Professor was pointing out. Unless there is this feeling, look, I have lived with fear for so many blasted years, wasted my life, and I'm, it is, I must do something about it, which immediately puts me out of society. And I don't mind. <laughs> but if I say I like to, the pleasant the niceties of society, dinner parties and nightclubs and all the blah, 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 then, uh, of course, there's no communication. That's where you come back to relationship. I like the... I know that relationship. That's why I'm coming a little slowly. So, what shall we do now? I have... Now, there is this intelligent operating, which is capacity. And I've started out with the discontent to live, to be, to understand this whole fear and, you know, work at it. I've come to the point, I'm afraid, right? I have fear. Are we aware? So come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have fear. Fear of what? What are you afraid of? Are you? The future? I'm sorry, I'm asking her. Your teacher, sir, Shakuntala. She won't answer, you see. <laughs> None of us want to be put on the carpet, right, sir? You can put me on the carpet, I'm quite willing. I'm asking, what is it are you afraid of? Afraid of loneliness? Afraid of not having communication with another? The other is the only person through whom I can, with whom I can communicate and with nobody else. Therefore, I'm afraid, and therefore I get attached. So go on, please. What am I afraid of, each one of us? My wife, losing my job, having no status in society, nobody recognizing me as a great man, Hmm? afraid of death, afraid of darkness, afraid that I might physically get hurt. Go on, sir, please, what is it you are afraid of? Practically all this. Huh? All this. Are you afraid of all this? Practically, yes. Getting hurt. Huh? Yes. Jesus. I mean. In one form or another, yes. I'm afraid of being asleep my whole life, you know, just, just letting everything drop by. And... No, wait, wait, wait. She said, I'm afraid of all these things. What does that mean? No, 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 no. What does that mean? That I'm afraid of that, I'm afraid of that, I'm afraid of that. So you have, you have separate fears, right? Or fear has different expressions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it seems to practically Yes. No, you're me. you Are you saying we're afraid of fear itself? No matter. No, you're. I'm asking something. She said, I said, I enumerated various forms of fear. Mm-hmm. I can add more to it or take home, it doesn't matter. Enumer- pointed out many forms of fear. Do you want to get rid of those four various expressions of fear or the fear that creates. Them? Mm-hmm. You follow? 
Desire creates many objects of desire, right? I want a house, I want to be famous, I want to be known, I want to have money, but it's still desire. If, so, though fear has many expressions, the common denominator factor is fear. So, which is, so we are dealing with not the objects of fear, I'm afraid of the door, I'm afraid of light, I'm afraid of my... but fear itself. Are we agree? Do we see this? Fear, I am ill. Fear, I will ne- may never get well. I am crippled. My arm is frozen. And my God, I can't move it. I'm afraid. You follow, sir? Fear. Are we aware? No, this is an important question. Please. Which is, am I aware? The, the objects of fear or fear itself? I may be afraid of death, and so I'm greatly concerned about death. And therefore I inquire into death, go into its, all the rest of it. And I forget fear. I push it away by saying, I'm going to inquire into death. Or I might want a very good career, job, position, and I'm intent on that. And therefore, my fear is abated. Because I've, my, I've concentrated on that. So I'm, we are discussing, talking over together, fear itself, not the various forms of fear. Huh? Right, sir? Can we move from there? Don't these fears indicate that one is actually afraid to be left alone? It's a loneliness. Yes. Loneliness, isolation, uh, building a wall around oneself, being hurt from the childhood, build a wall around yourself and fear never to meet anybody who might hurt. There's also the fear in there of building the wall, not yeah. just the isolation secondary to building the wall, there's the fear that you will build Of course, it. of course. You build a wall and then feel isolated and say, my God, why am I isolated? Yeah. But, then, but I say this is a deeper level. Yes, yes, of course. So are we all, can we move together in this? Mm-hmm. No, that fear we are concerned, not with fear of darkness, fear of death, fear of this, fear of that. I'm not clear on this that I'm afraid of fear. I live in a state of fear, and but I, I'm lost on this thing of not being afraid of, of fear. But no, I, I, I don't say afraid of fear. Oh, no, I only know fear. Not a, that is later on. I say the word, and so on. The complications of it. I'm just the fact that I'm frightened. Could we take a look at, at the process by which a single fear arises, by which uh, you know fear comes into being? Take your and take a look at it from that point you of view. Take it, take it. So go into it. Take one fact. Uh, if you are afraid of something, take that and go into it. The f- one fact. What would you like? Loneliness. No, so it takes a. No, I, I can. Fine. Huh? Fine. <coughs> so, I am afraid of being alone. Not alone. Feeling uh, this, fe- this feeling of loneliness, hmm? which is isolation, right? I am frightened of being isolated. Right? Can we, you want to take that? Yeah. Could we start? Could we start just before that, though? That I'm, uh, I'm sitting down, uh, walking around, and I'm not afraid. And then suddenly this fear arises. Arises. I'm and going. We look at that. I'm that? doing that. And we'll see how it comes, and then we'll see what, how it, what, the, before and the after. Mm-hmm. I'm talking all the time. 
I am lonely. And I try to do all kinds of things to escape from it, right? I'm attached, I'm, I'm, I need somebody to have a conversation with, you follow comfort and so on. So I escape from it. That's a fact, isn't it? Huh? Come on, sir. That's a fact. I, sir, how am I to talk to an audience if you all keep quiet? <laughs> I don't know. agree with you. Huh? Sometimes we all agree with you. Uh, no then, <laughs> <laughs> right. If you all agree, if you all see the point, if you are all aware of this, the loneliness, and running away from it, trying to cover it up, trying to fill it through various forms of entertainment, religious football or this or that, so that's what we do. Now I'm asking myself, why am what has brought this loneliness about? Right? Why what are the reasons for it? Huh? Can we go on? Yeah. What are the reasons? I Maybe uh probably need to be comfortable. Huh? I probably need comfort through contact with somebody. I probably need comfort no, through contact I, with. No, I, I know. I'm in contact with you. You're my friend. I have a conversation with you. I, I'm escaping from this fact that I'm lo lo lonely. So I escape through contact, through entertainment, through this and through that. Am I aware of this movement away from this thing which I have called loneliness? Hmm? Right? Mm -hmm. Now I want to find out why this loneliness has come into being. How is it that I am lonely? Right? So I question, is it my way of life? Mm -hmm. Right? That is the way of life. I am acting for myself all the time, hmm? in my, my most intimate relationships or business, whatever it is, I am always acting from a centre. Right? Could we go on with this? Mm -hmm. So what happens? I am all the time emphasising by my action, by my thoughts, by this void in me, this emptiness, this sense of loneliness. No? Do we all see this or not? Silence indicate we agreement or disagree. <laughs> Look, sir, I go to the office. There I am battling with my superior and I want his job, more money. So I am acting there, emphasising my, myself, hmm? me first, and all that. I come home and there is my wife and I go through the, exactly the same process there, right? So I am building, or through my actions, I am bringing about this sense of loneliness. It's isolating itself. Huh? It is isolating itself. It's isolating itself all the time. And suddenly, walking the woods or sitting in my room or whatever one is doing, suddenly one feels tremendously lonely, isolated, having no relationship with anything. Don't you know all this? Or am I inventing all this? So, I have done everything to avoid it. Right, sir? And if I and I want to find out how it arose, and I see how it has come about, how through my act daily actions I have isolated myself. Right? Which is my loneliness. And I suddenly become aware of it. 
And so instead of running away from it, I say, all right, avoid it. Let's see what it is about. You follow? What is the state of the mind that is lonely? Of course, lonely in the sense your body is separate from mine and so on. That one of the sense of psychological loneliness in which there is no contact with anybody. Sense of tremendous isolation. And if you don't resolve it, and you know how to escape from it, then you become neurotic. Because you have, that's the only thing you have left. You, before you escape, before you did all kinds of tricks for it, now you, you realize that you can't do anything. Those are all vain. So you are stuck with it. And if you don't resolve it, you are. You become every kind of neurotic human being. No? Be, uh, this is a verbal description. Don't be deceived by the description. It's a fact. So what shall I do with this loneliness? You see, you, are, you understood my question. What shall I do <laughs> with this loneliness? The I who has created the loneliness, the isolation, says, What shall I do? I wonder if you see this. Huh? Please. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. Somebody see. Hmm? That's the act, though, of trying to solve the. Again, you're back in the solution. Of course. But I put the wrong question. That's what I want. I put a wrong question to myself when I say, What shall I do? Or tell me what to do. I'm still isolating myself. Exactly. So I so next question is, is that loneliness separate from me? You follow, sir? Or I am that. Wouldn't the dog have you listened to what I have to say? We have reached a certain point, Tunki, which is I used to escape from this loneliness. I see the absurdity. And so I won't escape. But there is this loneliness, this isolation. So I'm, I'm still trying to do something about it. So I must find a solution, I must operate, and I'm doing something. But is that loneliness different from the actor? who says, I must do something about it. Or the actor himself is that. I wonder if you see this. Isn't that fear right at that second? Huh? Isn't that fear right at that second? You know, no, fear. no, I, I have no fear yet. I'm coming to that. Here, Mr. Scott asked me, say, take one example, like loneliness, and go into it. That's what we are doing, which is, I have done everything about it. Run away, rationalize it, and all the rest of it. And when I reject that, then I still say, What am I to do? I am pointing out it is a wrong question. Because you are still operating as though that loneliness, isolation, is different from the actor, the doer. The doer is that. No? It's suspended. Huh? It's suspended Yes. So the observer is the observed. This is the difficult for most of us to get. I'm sorry, I must keep at it. Now, when we. When to, uh, Scott, have you got this? I think so. You don't think so. <laughs> I can see Is it so? The actor has created that. Huh? I can see that the actor has created that. I'm yes. Curious, the actor has that. created that, yeah. and the actor is that, because he's created it. 
That seems particularly difficult. Of course, sir, because our conditioning is to keep the two separate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, because our, condi our conditioning is to act upon it. Is it Christian, isn't that the problem that the actor creates the symptom and then immediately the actor continues to create the reaction? And the that's right, sir, that's right. And say, that's right, so that's right. That's right. But when you see the actor is the action, you have you are quite a different. Your mind is quite different when you see that. But may I ask, in a sense, a degree, how different one sees that and yet one feels, even one's aware, there is an extraordinary habituated. Ah, that that's our conditioning. So I said, look what I'm doing. I have been caught in a tradition, hmm, educated and so on, so on, to separate the actor from the action. I don't think that's it. Huh? No. I don't think that's it at all. Uh, well, I think something else happens. That, 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 that something else that is like you turn a switch. Something. It's not the conditioning. It's something else. All right, sir. What is it, George? Now let's find out. It's, you say it's not the con all right. I will, will put it aside for the moment. I don't reject it. I put it aside. I say, is that so? I say, why is there this division? Right, right, sir. Mm -hmm. I before I have acted upon it, ran away from it, suppressed it, controlled it, and so on, so on, so on. I must have a conversation with you only and with nobody else. Therefore I get attached to you. And this attachment is making me made me more and more isolated. And then I say I'm isolated, lonely. And I say, I must do something about it. Or tell me what to do about it. Which means I'm still maintaining the division, right, sir? Now, is that a fact? Is that this division is a fact? Mm -hmm. But is that is that not an illusion? Though we accept it as a fact, is that not an illusion? <laughs> Go slow, and right, sir. You mean this division is an illusion? What's oh, that? You mean what? What is an illusion? The illusion is division. Yes. Ah. Yes. Krishna mm -hmm. I can see that that's an illusion, and I can, without being, without meaning to be presumptuous, I can see that I am that loneliness, and that there is not a division. So what happens? How did you come to the? No, no. Be careful, sir. How did you come to that? I don't well, think I'd talk about it if he huh? really saw it. I say I, I don't can... think he would talk about it if he really saw it. I know, but I'm asking something else. I'm asking how did he come to it? I don't think he came to it, that's the point. Huh? Well All right, all right, put it in different. I can see, I'll tell you how I, I can tell you how I came to it. In in listening to what you said and in seeing the entity that was that that felt that loneliness, that was the same that was the the loneliness came from the same source that felt it. So I could see in my way what I thought was that I was the loneliness. Yes, sir. But, but that doesn't give me any insight yet and because into and, and that's the whole point which he's pointing out. Which Dr. Schenberg is pointing out. Krishnaji, the sensation is that one has <coughs> jumped, and then you know you have jumped, but you don't know how you jumped. Yes. All right. All right. If that is so, that is, have you jumped? It doesn't matter how. <laughs> have you jumped to this fact that the division between the actor and the loneliness 
the, the actor says, I must do something about it. Therefore, he's still in the same area of loneliness. If you see that, then there is no division. Could I pause there for a moment, because you say we are going very slowly. I see the symptom, the expression, the jump that has occurred. That's different no, no. to what you're saying. I understand, sir. I'm asking, when you have jumped, yes. there is no conflict about loneliness. Otherwise you shouldn't jump. Wait, 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 wait. He's, he and I, for the moment he and I are talking. Forgive me, sir. He says he has jumped to that. And it may be still an illusion, so I'm asking respectfully. Yes. When the, when the observer is the observed, there is no conflict. When the observer who sees he is lonely, and the observer says, I am that, then there is no conflict. Right, sir? Is that a fact to you? No conflict about loneliness? It's not a fact. And therefore, it's, therefore, the jump is not what we are talking. What I, I, mean. I was just going to say, I think we are at odds here with communication. You see, if I sense that I am lonely, and in my investigation I see the fact that I am lonely because of the existence of an I, existence of various, I, very, no, existence of various actions in daily life which has brought about this loneliness. Yes, the, op- the continual operation of the art. Yes, sir. What I am saying when I use the word jump is the fact that I have become aware. That's all. Of that, a yeah, that's a, that's a different jump. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's all. Quite, on. quite. So I'm asking <laughs> something else, which is, am I? Do I realize the illusion? I have been living in, where I have separated loneliness from me, and therefore me can act upon it. Right? Have I? Do I see that? I'm sorry. Could you clarify, Christian? Do you just say that me can act upon? Yes. Sir, look, I'm lonely. Let's follow slowly, step by step. I'm lonely. Realizing the terror of it, hmm, the, uh, the feeling of complete lack of relationship with anything, I'm afraid of it. So I run away from it. I suppress it, control it. All kinds of things I do. And the, the loneliness still remains. Because then I ask myself, what shall I do about this? Right, sir? No. I read books, I read etc., etc., which means what? I am still in the same relationship as I was before with regard to loneliness. Yes. The loneliness hasn't been absorbed, resolved. No. I'm still in, in the same position as I was before when I went around escaping from it. And I'm still in the same position except when I ask the question, what shall I do about it? Yeah. Which means I don't see that loneliness is the action of my thinking which has brought about this division. Because I, I thought I must be a great man, I must do this. That. You follow, sir? I no. If I might just uh, continue on that point, Krishna, just at that point. You see, the stumbling block I found, the stumbling block is that in the moment of being aware of the symptom, 
And then, as you suggested, right, the, the eye says, how can I deal with this? My point is, the question which is organic and totally asked, which the eye is asking, has an electrifying speed. It is born so fast that you can't get hold of it. Of course, of course, because it's part of our illusion. So it is. You see, sir, no, please, sir, just listen. Have you seen that you are escaping from loneliness? Yes. Yeah. Which means you are acting upon loneliness. All right. And you see, you can't, you can't escape from loneliness. Wait, wait. Yeah. Next. You say, no, I have not escaped. No, sorry, may I correct that? I'm not saying I can't escape. Ah, well, I then we are lost. Then what we are gone. What I'm saying is, my escape, continual escape from loneliness, go rather than... Then, then, then we have to in, investigate why the mind will not face fact. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. <laughs> will not face the fact that I am silly. <laughs> Now, wait a minute, go slowly. Is that fact that I am silly the result of comparison? Take slowly, I am going slowly into it. You are bright, you are intelligent, you are this and that, and in comparing myself with you, I say, my God, how silly I am! Huh? Wait, that's one factor, sir. One factor. I'm going to it. Piano, piano. Man on troppo allegro. <laughs> What's the other factor? It's part, <coughs> it's part of the incapacity we were talking about earlier. Incapacity. What is the question we are asking? Huh? Why we can't see the fact? Why we can't? Yeah. Why can't we face the fact? Yes. Fact, not what I think about the fact. Mm. Right, sir. But the fact. Why don't we accept being loved? No, wait, wait. I'm investigating. So the fact. Look, I say the fact is I'm silly. Hmm? Is that fact? The result of comparison? Obviously. Yes. Wait, wait, no, don't agree so quickly. If it is the result of comparison, if I don't compare, am I still? You follow, sir? If I have no comparison at all, What am I then? I don't know. Exactly. No, wait, wait. Which means what? I am incapable of facing the fact because you have pointed out to me that you must be intelligent to face the fact. Mm -hmm. Intelligent without fear or whatever word you, you like to use. To face a fact, I mustn't run away from it, obviously. Mm -hmm. But my whole education has been to run away from it. Why can't I face the fact? Because of, of education? Or I have lived all my life comparing myself with somebody else. I am going slowly. I, is it I cannot face the fact because I have not the capacity for it? Ask yourself, sir. I have the capacity now. You follow? I've understood what capacity is. Is it I cannot face the fact because I don't know how to look? Right? I'm going, I'm going, slowly, slowly. <laughs> I'm exploring, sir. Is it a fact? I can't face the fact because I can't, I don't know how to look at it. 
No, you've already looked at the fact that you're isolating yourself. That's all. You've already seen that. Now, how come you can't see that fact? You've already got that. What happened? You see, I tell you how I do it. Not through mm, the observation of escapes, controls, and all that. I say loneliness, isolation, because of that. My daily life. So, my daily life changes completely. Yeah, but that's the jump that we uh, that, that you you did. That's not true. You didn't do that. What? Because what? You, said, what? You, you said, "What am I going to do about loneliness?" Yeah. You I'm, yourself skipped out. Yeah. That was I'm, the I myself, okay. no, sir. I myself expressed the question of others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, don't brush it aside. Don't brush it aside. <laughs> I am not lonely. I mean, I won't go through that. Cut me out as a person. Okay, forget you. But let's go back. Now we've seen the isolation. Now we then we go to. I'm going to do something about that isolation. I'm going to go to the movies. <laughs> no, you go to the movies. But when you come back home, you're still there. Okay. So can you face the fact? That's what we are discussing. Which means, can you face the fact? Without running away, looking at it correctly, without any deviation, which means can you look at it without any motive, which is deviation, and so on. Can you look at it fact? Can you can you, any of us look at a fact that I am? That one is violent. Take that fact. Fact. That one is violent. Can you face it? Sexually, uh, competitive, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, violent. Does one have to compare to see that I am violent? Huh? Do I have to compare to see no, that no, I am violent? No, no. I, no. I went to comparison through. Of, of uh, another matter. I'm violent. You know what violence is, getting angry. How do I know what violence is? I have a comparison. No, sir, getting angry is violent. Trying, trying to be something when you are not is violence. See, see we're used to working through comparison. That's part of the difficulty. <coughs> <coughs> Part of the difficulty is working through comparing what I conceive of violence with what I see outside as of violence. And so we work in the world of ideas. That's one of the chief difficulties. Uh, look, sir, we see, I'm asking, can you look at a fact? That's all we are concerned for the moment. Can I look at the fact of my loneliness? Not running away from it? Not trying to find an answer for it, or trying to have a motive to say, look, what am I to do with it? Can you just look at a fact and keep looking at it? Your point is that most people find this very difficult. That's right, sir. Most people find it most difficult to look at a fact. Look at the fact that you are jealous. Mm -hmm. Look at the fact that you are violent. Look at the fact that you are ugly, both fleshly or inwardly. Or you may be most beautiful. And look at the fact in the mirror. To look in the mirror and not compare yourself with somebody else. Who is more or less? So what happens? Can you look at that loneliness without any deviation, without any motive, without any? Just look. Now, which is most difficult? You follow, sir? Because observation is is 
the movement of thought, which is deviation. I wonder if you. Huh? Yes. I'm just discovering what I said. <laughs> well, this Christianity is again the problem, the observation of thought. No, I'm, I don't want to enter into that for the moment. Oh. Just for a purpose, because it's complicated enough. So, it's always dualistic. Yes, sir. Look, can I observe my loneliness? And here, all the noise, the, the emptiness, the silence, the inwardness of it. Observing means also listening. Can I do that? It might tell me, it might tell its content, you follow? If I know how to look, if I know how to listen to that thing that I've called loneliness. It may be the most extraordinary factor involved in it. But if I run away, escape, or all that, it's not telling this, its story to me. It's not revealing its story. <clears throat> What's up? So you find it awfully difficult to face a fact? Face the fact that I've told a lie. And not say, well, I told a lie because I was this, I was <laughs> protecting somebody, it was, you frightened me, you follow? But the fact that I've told a lie. See how extraordinarily difficult, sir, isn't it? Why? Answer me, sir, why? Why is it so difficult for most of us to face a fact? It's only difficult when it refers to the one's self. Yes, sir. If it doesn't refer to oneself, it's easy enough. <coughs> That's right, sir. I'm lame. I won't accept the fact. Hmm? I met a man once, he had no hand, right hand. So he put out his stump, he said, don't be frightened, I have no, I'm no hand. You follow, sir? He faced the fact that he has no hand and said, I don't mind, shake my stump. He said that. <laughs> Can I face the fact that I am absolutely nothing? Oh, that's the ultimate you follow, sir? This is really you can't. That's a key point. Huh? That's a key point. Huh? Well, that's a key point. That's the key point. The key point. The key point. The key key point. point. Yeah. Can you face that fact that you are absolutely nothing? No, that is really. <laughs> All the problems are solved. Oh, sir? There's no more problems. There is no more problem. No, no, oh, there is. <laughs> no problem, but there is something much more when you come to that point. Point not verbally, but actual fact, fact, that you are nothing. You have clothes, you have got ideas, you have got beliefs, you have got experience, all the of words, words, words. What makes it difficult is that you are always comparing. No, sir. 
I'm, I'm asking, just sim- say, I can't do it, that's simple. I cannot face the fact that I'm absolutely nothing. I've not discovered yet what you mean by nothing. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> I can tell you. All the structure that you have built about yourself, a speaker, a, a tremendous knowledge, a violinist, pianist, all these are what? What are they? You mean not nothing but a miserable human being? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he, the professor says, you may be nothing but you are a miserable human being. <laughs> now you do, you see, that's why we never face a fact that I'm, that, as he points out, I'm a miserable human being. My quarrels are petty, my relations with my wife are so tawdry, hmm? misery, confusion. I never face it. In India they've got a marvellous solution for this. Karma, <laughs> past life, holy ascetic world is soaked in this ignorance. Hmm? In the past life I did something which was wrong, Therefore, I'm paying for it now. Or I'm, I'm living in a good palace because I did very well last year. So, why is it, why is it so intolerable to face a fact? If you tell me that I'm really an ignorant fool, actually, you know, you tell me that, and I say, all right, let me look. I'm not frightened. I want to find out if I'm an ignorant fool or it's your reaction which makes you say that to me. I want to find out. Which means I'm. If I say I've got intensity as passion, as he pointed out, because I'm not, I'm not satisfied with things as they are in myself. So I now can I face the fact that I'm frightened? And don't do a thing about it. Just face it. Can I? Can you? If you face the fact, then a whole series of inquiries begin. Real inquiries, not intellectual, verbal inquiries. That is, I'm facing the fact that I told a lie last year and I'm frightened that you might discover that lie, because I've got a reputation to keep up, that I never lie. But I have told a lie and I don't want you to discover it. Can I face that fact? without any sense of guilt, right? Without any sense of saying, ah, it, was, it was right, I should have lied because this, that and that, the other. Just to know, look at it. See, that gives you tremendous vitality, I don't know. Has, 
if I may ask, has it given you that vitality, <laughs> that sense of drive, which is passion? See, I face the fact is fin. I may lie, but that's over. You can tell everybody about it, if you want to. You follow? I'm, I'm out of it. I think we better stop. Tomorrow is a holiday for everyone. <laughs> For me too, because I have to go to the dentist. <laughs> so, we meet on Saturdays. What, shall we go on with this fear question? Yes. Huh?